Okay guys, so now we're going to talk about quadrilaterals in a circle. Please make sure that you are working on the remediation that I gave you. I'm going to allow you to retake some of the questions from the summative on Monday. This concept will also be on that summative on Monday too. Please make sure you practice so that you can get a better um, summative grade. And that will help your overall grade. So what we're going to talk about now is quadrilaterals inside of a circle. What you're going to learn is how to find the angles of a quadrilateral when this quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle. Inscribed means to draw on the inside of something. Inscribed means draw and we're drawing it on the inside of a circle. Um, supplementary angles mean when two angles add to equal 180 degrees. We talked about those words before. So let me show you what an inscribed quadrilateral looks like. So if I have a circle here, and a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure like the parallelogram and the rectangle, and I'm going to draw a quadrilateral here, and a quadrilateral has four sides. So I'm going to call this A, B, C, and D. And this is inscribed on in the circle. Let me make this line a little straighter. Okay. So what you know about this is, well, what we know about this is this angle here and this angle here, they add to give you 180 degrees. So I'm going to show you how to write this in two ways. I'm going to say angle B plus angle C equals 180. Or I can say the measure of angle A, B, D plus the measure of angle A, C, D equals 180. So there's two ways you can write that. Now if I do angle A and angle D, and I'm marking these differently because they're different sizes. Then I also can write that one in two ways. I can say A plus D equals 180 degrees. That means they're supplementary. The angles that are across from each other are supplementary. And so they have to be across. Or you can say the measure of angle B, A, C plus the measure of angle B, D, C is equal to 180 degrees. And these angles are supplementary. So we would say the opposite angles are supplementary. And that means they add to equal 180 degrees. And keyword here, opposite angles. And these are also called inscribed angles where they have an arc that they intersect with. And they're inscribed because the vertex of this angle is sitting on the circle. Vertex of this angle is sitting on the circle. Vertex of this angle sitting on the circle. Vertex of this angle sitting on the circle. All right, that's the rule you need to know. This will also be on your retake on Monday. Okay, so let's, let me give you an example. It says solve for x and y and find the missing angles of the quadrilateral. Well, I have some rules. I know this angle and this angle should be um, should add to equal 180. So I'm going to label this myself since they didn't label it. So I am going to say 7x plus 1 plus 105 should add up to give me 180 degrees. So here I'm going to use the rules we know. Constants are on the left. I mean, constants are on the right side of the equation and variables are on the left. So 106 equals 180. So I need to move this constant over to the other side. And remember, when you cross over the line, you change the sign. So 180 minus 106. Let me grab the calculator, see what we get. That's 74, and then we want to divide both sides by 7. So x equals 
divide by seven. 10 point, and I'm going to round to the nearest 10, 10.6. And whatever those, well, 10.6 is X, and then we'll find what the degree is. So if this is 105 and this is supposed to add to give me 180, then what I'm going to do is say 7 times 10.6 plus 1. I'm going to take my calculator, 10.6 times 7 plus 1. And you can put it in the calculator directly the way it is. That's 75.2. So we figured out this side. And it's a little more. If you add these two, you're going to get a little more than 180. And that's because we have a, we rounded here. So that's what we would call an approximate answer. So we did the work for for x now let's go and do the work for y so we're going to use the same logic with helping us get y so here we're going to say 4y plus 14 plus 7y plus 1 equals 180 these two angles here should add to equal 180 they're supplementary so 7y, I'm going to combine like terms, 7y and 4y is 11y's, plus 14 plus 1 is 15, equals 180. So now, what we're going to do here is constants belong on the right side of the line, and the, the variables belong on the left. So 11y equals 180 minus 15, 165, and then we're going to divide this by 11, divide by 11, so here y equals 15. Now that I know that y equals 15, I'm going to go back up and substitute in so 4 times 15 plus 14 and grab my calculator knock that out so 4 times 15 plus 14 equals so this angle is 74 and then we can call this C if you would like and you can call this one D if they don't label it for you. And then to get this one, 7 times 15 plus 1. So we get 7 times 15 plus 1 is 106. All right, so we found all of those angles. And if you add these two together, you can confirm that they equal 180. And that means they're supplementary. All right, so go ahead and um, complete the rest of the problems. Please do the work so that when you come back to class, all you have to do is um, clear up your misconceptions. And those that do finish the work for tonight, I'll give you class time to go ahead and start working on your remediation for Monday's test or Monday's retake. You guys have a good one. Bye.